The village was built in 1787 and its original purpose was to serve as a slaughterhouse. During the 1800s the building became a malt house and in the 1970s it was converted into a nightclub. The club closed its doors in 2001 and it lay abandoned for over 10 years. In current times the venue is now used for laser questing, however at night time it becomes home for paranormal investigators. It is believed that originally a barn sat on top of this land and it was used by local monks as a hiding place. It is claimed by some that a woman and child were murdered inside this building, however upon further research we found no evidence to support this claim. It is also believed that several monks perished in the flames when the original barn was burnt to the ground. The building is also home to a number of resident spirits and this includes Mr Merriweather, the original malt house owner. It is also home to Catherine, the murdered woman, and a number of prisoners who were held here against their will. It is also claimed the voices of children can be heard when walking around this building. There are also reports that this piano has been heard playing by itself. Strange mists and apparitions have been captured on camera. People have reported being physically pushed and scratched by unseen forces. Tonight we are hoping to capture this paranormal activity on camera. Welcome to the village of the Damned. Hear the devil calling. Hear the devil calling. Well, I hear the devil calling. Gotta pay him what he's due. I can't stop the dogs of war. I can't stop the dogs of war. Good evening, spirits. My name is Kyle. And this is my partner, Kelly. I've been here in the past over five years ago. I stood in this very room. If there's any spirits present with us right now, please make yourself known. Spirits, what we've done here today is place motion sensor balls in each doorway. So there's one just to my right, there's one to my left on this bottom step, one in this cell looking area, and the K2 meter. If there's any spirits present with us right now, could you come forwards and make the sound? We know that a woman and child were allegedly murdered inside this building. We know that monks burnt to death. In the past I was told the bouncer was stabbed to death on top of the stairs and he died inside this building. Oh. As soon as I mentioned that a bouncer was allegedly stabbed to death on top of the stairs, two balls of light can be seen approaching my head from two different directions. Could this be the spiritual energy of someone who was allegedly murdered here? In the past I was told the bouncer was stabbed to death on top of the stairs and he died inside this building. Whoa, balls of light. Almost immediately after these balls of light pass by, I begin to feel as if someone has walked behind me. A ball of light can be seen shooting up the wall. Could this spirit be aware that I have sensed their presence? As soon as I mentioned that I had felt as if someone had walked behind me, a ball of light can be seen shooting out of my back. Possibly affect one of these balls. So you're picking up 
a lot are all upside. Yep. When we saw that there's introduction when we're walking around the building, that there weren't just any ordinary orb. They were actually bolting out of tires and just disappearing in thin air, moving rapidly. It's at this point a light anomaly can be seen forming before literally disappearing right in thin air. If you are here right now, could you make a noise in this room? Could you affect this K2 meter? Oh. What? Proper big balls of light. Where was that? Just went from you like towards the south. It appears as if these spiritual orbs appear to show real intelligence. First a bright light anomaly can be seen flying towards me before one comes out of the wall, changes direction and heads towards the K2 meter. Yeah. Someone walking down these stairs? That is you. Put yourself this ball. It's a motion ball. If you can nudge that or move it the tiniest amount, it will light up. As I try to give instructions to the spirits that are present, two light anomalies are captured. What's bizarre about this is that one of the orbs are captured travelling up the wall, then a few seconds later it can be seen coming back down before changing direction and heading directly into my body. Come our way. I think you can do it. What do you think, Ellie? Oh my god, do you know when you spun round then? It's like ball of light after I've asked it to follow me. It's like dodged your head and then gone back into that room. If you are here right now and you've just listened to me, there's a K2 meter there with a light on it. So if you can affect that, please feel free. There's a little ball behind. And then there's another ball on the step. If you could set any of those off, that would be fantastic. So myself and Kelly are coming to the back of the building. We believe it's the most active part. There's been numerous apparitions seen in this building. And we are hoping to capture them on camera. Do you feel like you've been followed here? Yeah. I've got like wind, I can feel wind on me. Yeah. yeah. That's weird. Like somebody pushed my head. So we're just walking around guys trying to get the layout. Right, so we come in here earlier on. And we sit here. And we felt very, very aware, didn't we? Yeah. Spirits, if you are with us right now, we've placed some motion balls on the ground. We've got a K2 metre set up. We're looking for some activity tonight. We know children like to play with things. Were you a worker? Right guys, so myself and Kelly have come deeper into the building. So we've taken this opportunity to perform a blindfolded session. I'm going to place some headphones on so I can't hear anything. As we moved to another room, I decided I was going to conduct an experiment. The light anomaly that was captured above us was rather large and it almost appeared as if multiple orbs had fused together. The idea of this is to try and feel the presence around me and obviously if I do feel something then I will say that, that should be captured on camera. I've got some motion balls in the K2 meter here and hopefully if I do feel anything that could possibly go off so it's going to be interesting to see what we capture. So I'm going to blindfold myself and then I'm going to place these on and I'm going to try and get a feel for them. If there's anyone with me right now like you to come forwards and make your presence known. I want to be able to physically feel you around me. I'd like you to affect these balls, K2 meter, take the energy from those devices. As soon as I ask the spirits to affect me, a ball of light is seen falling from the ceiling before another one is captured fading into my leg. Could this be a spirit trying to interact with the living? Anything I do feel I will mention out loud so that it's captured on camera. My name is Kyle Thompson. And I've come here tonight to communicate with spirits. So if you are here, 
Please try and make yourself known. Right, I'm getting a weird noise over here. Would you possibly come and touch my hand? Oh, whoa, 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 that was weird. I felt something go between these two fingers. The ball's just gone off. What? Ball's no way. The ball's just gone off. Has it? Yeah. Literally, but on again. I've literally just felt something in my hand. My arm's got proper heavy. If you're here, come and take my hand. I'm sure I've just felt you. Come and touch my hand again. Someone that's messing with my headphones, I've just heard my headphones crunch on this side. Like there was being bent. If that was you touching these headphones, would you do it again? If you had a child, I'm reaching out to you. I'm sure I felt you already. I can swear. Come here, offering friendship. I'm here to communicate with positive spirits. And I will not allow negativity into my life, into our life. If you are here, I need you to touch me somehow, speak to me, just let me know that you are present. I can sense something in this general area. I feel it's proper sick. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm burning there. So something really strange happened when I held out my hand. I felt as if something had stroked its fingers in between mine. Because I did call for a child to come forward and touch me if they were there. I was getting these cold bursts of air, but Ben Kelly said, as I offered out my hand and I felt it being touched, one of those motion balls went off. Good evening, spirits. Is there someone in this room with me right now? Once I asked if anyone was in the room with us, we get a spirit box reply that says, how are you doing? Then amazingly a ball of light is captured, shooting away from us. Could this be proof that we were not alone? In this room with me right now. Boy, did you do that? Yeah. Boy. Did the boy touch my hand? Did the boy touch my hand? Right, let's see you. Can you move this? Physically move it. Let's have you. Thank you. Oh my God. And again. Who's, who, who is this that's affecting that ball? Myself and Kelly decided to enter another room and the atmosphere had changed dramatically. What is captured next literally had frozen me and Kelly on the spot. We first had heard someone talking, then walking which was followed by a whistle in a room that was only occupied by ourselves. Moments later, this happened. Who's there? We believe that this could have been a poltergeist attack, as you can clearly hear something being thrown. The moment that we decided to enter this part of the building, we both felt extremely uncomfortable, as the energy field around us felt a lot more negative. Visitors and paranormal investigators have claimed that they have been pushed and even scratched. Whatever was with us in this room made it very clear that we were not welcome. And on that note, we decided not to hang around, so we moved to another location. <laughs> if the spirit's here that affected these balls earlier on, is there any way you could do that now? 
Try and give us a sign. Whoa, Bo's light fell. Where? Come here and look at this. If that's you, keep coming. Set off one of those balls for us, one of the children, if you're here. The one who died. We're trying to prove that life after death goes on. But we can't do it without you showing us that you're here. Could you speak to us on this device? Right, Kelly's sat down with you now. Is there any way you could push over that device? Show her that you're here. Affect something. Any of the balls, there's three in this room. Be impressed if you can push that K2 over. Whoa, my God. How a weirdest ball light I've ever seen. I find it amazing that once I ask the spirits to affect the device, the ball of light suddenly appears directly above the K2 meter before heading towards my direction. That were child. Can you affect the ball? Kyle, did you hear that? Mm. Pour your energy into it. We're trying to capture you on this device to show people you exist. Mm. Said what? Hurt. Hurt. Mm. That sounds like oh yeah. Whoa, okay, two's just gone. How old are you? Did you say twelve? This capture via the ghost box is truly fantastic. I asked the spirit present if they were 12 years old and I received a direct reply in which the child mentioned they were in fact 13 years old. I believe this is direct communication with the spirit realm. How old are you? Did you say 12? Did you work here as a child? With reports from paranormal investigators that a woman was murdered here, did we just receive a confession from a man who has just told us that he had killed Grace? Right, spirits. Felt a little uneasy in this area earlier on. We heard something running and something was thrown at us. We heard someone whistling. If you're still here, could you do that now? There are reports that a bouncer was allegedly stabbed when it was a nightclub and is believed to have died inside this building from his wounds. If that's true, and you're still here, can you make a noise? Right, spirits, you've got numerous devices on here, on this piano. Motion trigger balls, K2 meter, which detects electromagnetic frequencies, and also a little wooden car for the children to play with. If you are here, can you try and roll the car? Could you possibly play one of those keys? Could you push over the K2 meter? That's just gone up. Thank you. So you are here then. That's intelligent. Are you with us right now? Can you walk towards us? I'd like you to come and play this piano. If you can do that, that would be fantastic. Or would you prefer to speak to a woman? Would you like her to ask you? Oh, K2 flashed. Are you trying to communicate with Kelly? Do you prefer? If she speaks to you, light up that K2 meter once more. Well, it's going through the door there, isn't it? Keep coming this way. The piano is waiting to be played. We believe in the afterlife. We want proof that you are here. I am fallen. 
So it's time to bring this investigation to an end. We've had an absolutely amazing time. Some of the things we've captured has been unbelievable. It's been a really, really interesting experience. Kelly's got really involved tonight. Have you found anything in particular interesting? Definitely that shadow or whatever it was I saw in Zoom 2. That you really also saw it at the same yeah, time. Yeah, but. And it was like that in an instant. It, it was so quick. Then we had the activity in this section, didn't we? It was we were stood genuinely up, both frozen, frozen in fear. On the spot. Something got thrown at us. You've seen it on video. Absolutely crazy stuff. But we've had a really, really good investigation. But we're a little drained. It's time to say goodnight. Until next time. Our investigation at the village provided us with some of the most incredible visual evidence we have ever managed to capture. These balls of light responded to almost every single question and upon reviewing our footage, we believe that they displayed real intelligence. The responses via the spirit box were both direct to the point. How old are you? Did you say 12? And one of the replies were connected with an alleged murder. But the most chilling part of this investigation was oh, yeah. when myself and Kelly were frozen in fear as we felt as though we were being tormented by a negative entity that decided to throw an unknown object at us. <laughs> After reviewing our footage, we can conclude that the village in Mansfield is indeed haunted by numerous spirits.